Hi friends, we are from HRB Embedded and Craft. Today we bring you a new video of a project title name is GSM based prepaid electricity energy meter using Arduino and GSM module. It is one of the best concept for the electricity payment system. In this system, we can recharge the device and update the balance on our mobile phones. By sending the SMS, we can recharge the electricity balance through the system. It can also disconnect the power supply connection if there is a low or zero balance in the system. And this system will read the energy meter readings and automatically sends message to the user's mobile phone. Like low balance alert, cutoff alert and recharge alert. The theft alert can also be detected when someone tries to steal the power by opening the meter box lid. So let us see how we can build this project. In this project, Arduino is mainly interfaced with input device like energy meter through optocoupler which records energy consumed by AC load. A limit switch is used for the theft alert, the GSM module of SIM 800A which will give user alert to mobile phone. Output models used here are electromagnetic relay which connect or disconnect the AC load. A LCD display along with I2C module will indicate the balance amount, unit balance and also the pulse count. Finally, the buzzer is used for alert by sound. Following materials that we need to make GSM based prepared energy meter are energy meter, Arduino nano board, SIM 800C GSM module, single channel 5 volt relay, 16 by 2 I2C LCD display, limit switch, 5 volt buzzer, optocoupler IC 4N35, 10K resistor, 0 PCB, 9 volt power adapter, buck converter. The circuit diagram of GSM based prepared energy meter is very simple. The energy meter input terminal connects to 220 volt AC power supply. Its output terminal connects to the output of the single channel relay module. All the loads for the electricity is also connected to the relay in series as shown in the circuit. The 16 by 2 I2C LCD display connects to the I2C pins of the Arduino Nano board. We have used SIM 800 GSM module for SMS function which is the most important part of this project. The GSM has UART pin as TX and RX which connects via software serial to digital pins 4 and 5 of Arduino. We should take care that GSM module SIM 800A voltage is not more than 4.4 volts. So buck converter is used to obtain required voltage. Important point is that both ground of GSM module and Arduino Nano should be common. The relay buzzer and limit switch are connected to D8, D7 and A0 of Arduino Nano. Here we can assemble this project in a PVC box. Over the box has only the energy meter and LCD display. Inside the box the Arduino board GSM module relay and 4N35 optocoupler placed together in zero PCB. The limit switch is placed at the side of PVC box. This switch is activated and sends signal to Arduino Nano thereby SMS is sent to mobile as power theft alert. The important thing is connecting the energy meter to the Arduino for this, we need to open the meter first. Inside of the meter, there is pulse LED terminal which are basically cathode and anode. Two wire are soldered to these terminals. After this, 
Connect the anode and cathode terminal of the LED at pin number 1 and pin number 2 of the optocoupler 4N35. Now pin number 4 of optocoupler is connected to digital pin D2. A pin number 5 is connected to plus 5 volt of Arduino. 10K resistor is connected to pin D2 and ground to maintain pull down at D2. The complete program for GSM based prepared energy meter using Arduino is explained here. The code is mostly formatted for GSM80 commands to recharge and test the system along with the output feedback messages. Before going to operate the project, we need to upload the code to Arduino Nano. We are using EEPROM library here. This is to store all the current and previous balance related to electricity consumption in the EEPROM memory. Even after powering it off and on repeatedly, the memory still retain the value. This I2C library with an address of 0x27 is used for LCD display. We connect GSM module via software serial pins D4 and D5 to Arduino. We connect buzzer, relay and theft switch to D7, D8, A0 respectively. Then we define some integer and character values along with pricing and all consumption variable. The phone number can be saved here and you need to make some changes by placing your phone numbers. We initialize serial begin, LCD begin and declare all the input and output. Then we display some character on LCD screen using the AT commands. Now GSM connect to the network and gets ready to activate via SMS. The EEPROM also initialize and store the initial values in address. Under the loop function, we initialize GSM module characters like A, T, R, E, C, H and as to with the meter value, sending commands 1, 2, 3 and 4 will operative pricing value. The function related to theft detection, buzzer and data values are also implemented in the code. Now it's time to upload the code. For this, from the tool menu, select the Arduino Nano, select the COM port and hit the upload button. Once the code is uploaded, we can test the project. When we power on the device, the LCD will display the unit, pulse and price as zero. To recharge with rupees 100 balance, type ATRECH1 and send. We will get a feedback message as an SMS that says recharge is done. The LCD will also display the currency balance and number of units. Immediately the load will turn on. We also set the limit to 50. As the amount goes to 50, the GSM will send a SMS as balance is low and we need to recharge it again. So basically it's an indication as well as a warning. As long as the pulse LED blinks, the counting goes on and the pulse count is displayed on LCD screen. For our convenient, we set one unit of power consumed for 10 pulses and each unit costs rupees 10. When the power consumption increases and the price goes further down till the amount reaches zero. In this instance, the load will turn off and there is an electricity cutoff. We will receive an SMS saying that balance is finished and need to recharge it again. So we can recharge again. We can recharge Rs 100, 200, 300 and 400 as a currency. If we want to recharge it with 200, simply replace 1 with 2. Similarly, 3 for 300 and 4 for 400. With the recharge value, the electricity load will turn off when the currency reaches to 0. A similar process continues again and again. This process continues even after there is a power cut. This is because last pulse count and price value are stored in the EEPROM of the microcontroller.